Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'll be showing you how to replace dual throttle cables on a dirt bike. All right, so today we're gonna to show you how to replace the throttle cables on a dual throttle cable design. So the bike that we'll be working on here today is a 2016 Husqvarna 501. Now the process for changing out the throttle cables on this bike is going to be about the same for just about every dirt bike that's out there that's got a dual throttle cable setup. Now if your bike has a single throttle cable setup and you're wondering how to take care of that, we've got a really great how-to video that will show you how to replace and adjust the throttle cable, so be sure to check that out. Twisting the throttle on our dirt bikes is a huge part of the thrill and experience of riding your bike. And when your throttle's operation isn't so smooth, not only does it cut into the bike's rideability and performance, but it also makes it unsafe as well. So keeping up on your bike's throttle maintenance is key to ensuring that awesome experience. To replace the throttle cables on your dirt bike, you're just gonna need a few basic hand tools. Now keep in mind that the hand tools will vary from bike to bike. Now you'll definitely wanna get some cable lube and a cable luber. So here we've got the Tusk Cable Luber as well as the Motion Pro Cable Luber V3. And we'll, we will be using the Motion Pro for today. Now when it comes to replacement throttle cables, Rocky Mountain ATV MC has got you covered. We've got a wide variety of replacement throttle cables including OEM and many aftermarket selections. So for today's video, we're going to be using the Tusk replacement throttle cables. And it's never a bad idea to always have some safety glasses around as well as some rags. Now when it comes to working on your dirt bike, always be sure to reference your service manual for proper procedures, torque specs, and safety information. To begin, start by removing the seat and then you can remove the fuel tank. Remove any cable ties or zip ties from the routing of the throttle cables. Next, we can remove the cover that protects the throttle cables on the throttle body. Disassemble the throttle housing. Disconnect the throttle cables from the throttle. Disconnect the throttle cables from the throttle body. Remove the throttle cables. Now before we install our throttle cables, it's always good to go ahead and give them some lube. So today we're gonna to show you how to use the Motion Pro Cable Luber. Now what's really cool about this is it's a, a very well sealed system. So once you put your throttle cable inside, it's designed to allow you to depress this plunger which will force feed the lube through the cable. Now because this system is so well sealed, we don't have to depress this plunger. So we're gonna slide this part of our throttle cable back. We're gonna take the collar piece of the tool. We're gonna to slide it on like so. And then we're going to install this little rubber seal with the long taper facing towards the end of the cable. And then we can take the body of it. We're gonna push the throttle cable in, put the body over it like so and then thread it together nice and tight. Now once we've got this assembled, at this end of the tool, we can insert the nozzle for our cable lube and begin to lube the cable. And that's it, that's how we lube our throttle cable. So we'll go ahead and do this to the other cable and once we're finished getting it lubed, then we can take it over to the bike and get it installed. Route the new throttle cables through the original routing, and if you're not sure how they are routed, be sure to reference your service manual for that information. Next, we can connect the throttle cables at the throttle body. Install the throttle cable cover at the throttle body. Now before we reinstall our throttle cables, you'll want to clean and inspect your throttle tube and the throttle housing. Give them a good thorough cleaning with some contact cleaner. If you have hand guards, be sure to remove them so that you can remove the throttle tube. Give the handlebar a good cleaning as well as the inside of the throttle tube. Now before installing the throttle tube onto the handlebar, I like to take a little bit of the cable lube and spray it onto the handlebar itself. And I'll also spray just a little bit inside of the throttle tube. And when I slide it on, I'll rotate it just to make sure that we have a nice smooth operating throttle. 
Then you can reinstall your handguard. Now, if you don't have handguards and you're reinstalling your throttle tube, make sure to set it all the way on to the handlebar so that it stops, it bottoms out. Then you're going to want to slide your throttle tube back about five millimeters. This way, we create enough room and create a gap in between the inside end of the throttle tube and the end of the handlebar. This way, we can ensure that when we twist our throttle, we won't encounter any resistance. Now when reinstalling the throttle housing, it wouldn't even hurt to take just a little bit of the cable lube and spray it on the inside here where the cams part of the throttle tube will engage the throttle housing. Now be sure to pour out any excessive cable lube. We want to check to make sure that when we twist our throttle, the rubber part of the grip here won't make contact with the end of our handguard. That way we don't run a risk of it getting stuck. Now when adjusting the throttle cables, you want to take this bottom one and set it to where it is locked into place, thread it all the way in. And then for the top one, we will make our adjustment here so that we can achieve three to five millimeters of free play at the throttle tube. Now in doing this, be sure to have the handlebars straight forward. Now some dual throttle cables may have a barrel adjuster at the throttle housing where you'll fine tune the throttle's free play. Now in making adjustments at your carburetor or throttle body, when it comes to your specific bike, always be sure to reference the service manual for specific procedures on how to do so. Now once we have the tank and the seat reinstalled, we're going to take and turn the handlebars full clock right. We're going to twist the throttle, let go of it, and make sure that it snaps back quickly with no resistance to its starting position, and also check for throttle free play. Do this full clock right and full clock to left. Now the last test that we want to perform to ensure that everything's in good shape, we're going to start the bike, let it sit at idle, and then we will turn the bars again, full clock right, let it sit at idle, full clock left. Now if your idle is to change or go up in idle, you will want to readjust the throttle free play. And that's it, that's how we change out dual throttle cables on a dirt bike. Now if you have any questions or concerns as to what we've done here today, feel free to leave us a comment below and we'll be sure to get an answer back to you. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product spotlights, how-tos, and top fives. And don't forget to check out our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com where we have the largest selection of parts, apparel, and accessories for your motorcycle, ATV, and UTV. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain. Thanks for watching and keep the wrenches turning.